Hi, Dean Crab from C2 Solutions here. We are focused on helping businesses automate, systemize, and innovate the way they work using cloud solutions. Now there's a question we get asked all the time by our clients and that's how to use Gmail filters. It's a really powerful tool and once you get the hang of it, there's so much you can do with it. Now labels um, are another feature within Gmail that allows you to basically store things in folders. The labels make the appearance of the, the Outlook traditional folder structure. But it's a little bit more flexible and powerful in Google because you can apply an email to multiple labels or give the appearance it's in multiple folders. So when you start to couple filters and labels, you can really do some powerful stuff to organize your inbox. So today we're gonna to walk you through Gmail filters and all the features you can do in it so you become a master of it and can start to organize your inbox and get on with your day. So let's get started and we'll show you how it works. Okay, so filters within Google Gmail are really powerful. It's a great way of being able to uh, control um, your emails coming in and do things with them. Okay, so basically the premise is any search is a filter. So you, you can do a search for something and create a filter out of it. You can just start up here saying, I'm gonna search um, from Denise. And so you can type an email address, that syntax there uh, allows you to be more specific, but you'll see once I search on that, if you click this down arrow, you'll see the from there has put that email address in the from field. You've also got a to field, a subject field, so you can say look for emails that are specifically from Denise with this subject. Okay, or the body content includes words or doesn't have particular words in it. Okay, so all of these things allow you to kind of get more granular on what you're searching. You can also click if it has an attachment Okay, and don't include chats. Now chats comes from Hangouts, so the really cool thing with Google is when you're searching um, in email, it'll also search within your chats. You can see these ones down here, these are chats we've had, and it's searching all the chats that have obviously from Denise in it. Um, the, you can also search for emails with attachment sizes greater than you know, or less than a certain size or within a certain day period. Now that's all the search capability you've got you like in this uh, use interface, but there's a lot more you can use. If you do a search for Gmail search search syntax, okay, that one, Gmail search syntax, don't use this top link, use this link here, which is done by um, Google, okay? Click on that, and you'll see there's a whole bunch of commands here you can learn to do stuff with, you know, um, really, really advanced stuff, so you can get a lot of control in what you're searching for um, to then do something with it okay so so going back so again a search a search can be created to filter so you've done this search from Denise and we'll say from Denise includes um, invoice I don't know okay and so there's all the emails that have the word from Denise and have the word invoice in it okay and we don't want to include let's just get more granular on this we don't want to include chats. So we'll see if that will narrow it down. Okay, that's it. better. So let's just say that's the result we want, okay? Now you can click here and go create filter with this search. Now once you've created that, okay, we're about to create a filter and do something with it. So you can say here you want to skip the inbox, which is called archiving. So in the traditional sense, we think of archiving as it's put away and you can never see it again. Google's terminology of archive means that the email is hidden from the inbox, so you won't see it come into your inbox. This is really handy if you get like, like um, I've got here Asana alerts coming in. I archive them from my inbox, but I can still see them under here, under this label or folder. It's called labels in Google, but I'll show you how to do that. So archiving, it'll skip the standard inbox, but you can still have it appear elsewhere, and it'll always be found in searches, okay? So don't think archiving means you'll never be able to get it back. You can have it automatically marked as red or you can star it, okay, which will appear here under starred, or you can apply a label. Now this is, labels are like folders, okay? You can create your own labels or you can choose a label. You can go down and go, I want this one to go into um, invoices, okay? Or you can create a new label and you can even put, you can nest labels. So under invoices, I might create a new one called Denise. Okay, and then go create. So that's gonna, under invoices now, I've got this subfolder. So it looks like subfolders, but the advantage of labels 
in um, Google is you can have an email against multiple labels, which you can't do in Outlook, okay? So going back to our filter, um, I'm gonna apply that label. Um, you can, if you want, delete certain things coming in or never send it to spam. You can automatically send them a canned response if you want. So if you, if you enable the lab for canned responses, that's a, another video, but there's a lab for canned responses you can set up. You can um, create canned responses for certain things coming in and fire off emails back to them. You can always mark an email as important or never mark it as important. So that sets some kind of priority on the importance of it. And you can also categorize it. So you can say, oh, look, that's going to be an update and it goes into the updates category. Now, what's handy is once you've got that, if, if I... If I just go create filter, it'll start running for any new emails coming in, okay? But if I click this down here, it's gonna apply this filter to all these current ones that it's searched and found here. So there's 13 of them. So it's great, I can go, actually, I wanna apply that and it's gonna shift all of them into that invoices label, okay? And, oh, careful, it would then all send them all a canned response. Okay, we're not gonna do that one. So, so ticking this one, we'll just say for future messages, do this filter. Okay, and ticking this one here will then say actually do it apply it to all these current ones as well. So just be mindful of that. Okay, and so I'm going to create that filter, and that filter is done. Now, where did it go? How do I go and find it? Okay, so if you go over to the cog item here and go settings, under this section here there is a filters and blocked addresses. So here's all the different filters you can have set up. Okay, so you see down the bottom here matches from Denise invoice has the word invoice and is not in chat so the negative means not okay and do this apply the labels so you can literally read through all of your labels here that you've got it set up to do things and if you need to edit it or if you need to delete it you can just delete it but if you need to edit it you can edit here okay and then um re-update it so you can go actually i want um sorry instead of having include words there i want the invoice to be in the filter now uh, sorry in the subjects now if I click search you'll see it will narrow that down okay and you can go yep continue and then you, it'll re-update that filter you can see that the details of that filter comes back and apply or not okay and then go update okay so they'll update that for for future emails coming in now the other thing the filters are really good for is if you need to forward do a forwarding on email so you could have certain emails um, that come in to, that you want to forward onto your support system or something like that. So you can add a forwarding address, go through that process. I won't go through that now, that's another video. But then when you are back doing your filter, so let's just do a test here for from Denise. Okay, we can then create the filter. And one of the things you can then do is go, I'm going to forward it to um, our support system. Okay, and then you go create filter. So any emails coming, from Denise will be forwarded into uh, that support system, okay? So that's a really handy feature if you wanna do certain things like uh, any invoices, forward them to the accounts team or um, you know, forward them to um, the boss or something like that, okay? So really, really handy. So that's Google Filters. Um, obviously, always go and check out um, all the search operators you can do. There's a lot of power in there. Um, Google is obviously, it's the search engine of the world. So knowing and understanding some of this and what you can do with it really gives you a lot of power in being able to um, use filters to your advantage and cut down all the noise or do work on your inbox. So I hope you found that helpful. Let us know if you've got any questions. Cheers. So we hope you enjoyed that tech tip from C2 Solutions. Be sure to give the video a like to give it a bit of a boost. If you'd like to get future updates, be sure to subscribe. You'll find the link below or on our mailing list and share it with your friends and colleagues. We look forward to seeing you next time.